set one cross try to keep it even now let's go backwards with it you guys have made it through your first tutorial all right i am so proud of you i hope you're proud of yourself as well let's get on to video tutorial number two but before we do that if you're here for the very first time my name is john sims and i am the founder and creator of j sims j music where we learn music and we love music also don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell up there so you can get every material that I send out, okay? Hey, I want you guys a part of the J. Sims J. Music family if you're not already a part of it, okay? So, we're getting ready for video tutorial number two where you're going to learn your scale, the C major scale, okay? Let's get started. All right, everybody, welcome back. This is your second tutorial. All right, we first learned in the first tutorial our notes on the keyboard. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to learn the scale, okay? All right, the major scale in particular, okay? All right, um, in order to know what a scale is, a scale is a series of notes, okay? A scale is a series of notes. It's, it's uh, a bunch of different notes that are put together. They are they are played consecutively right behind each other, okay? So, now, um, we're going to start with the C major scale, okay? Well, uh, usually, piano teachers or, you know, other people that teach music, they usually start in C. The reason why, because it's the easiest to uh, understand and the easiest to play in because the scale is nothing but just the white keys, okay? Nothing just but the white keys. All right, so we're going to start with C. Now, before I do that, let me explain to you as well that there are 12 keys that you can actually play in. And the reason why I say that is because there are seven white keys. So let me show you. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Starts at A again. So that's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then it starts over again at the eight. All right. So, but there's black keys as well. How many? Only five. So seven plus five, 12. So that means there are... 12 actual keys that you can play in. Now, we know these are in, in harmonic notes, and you can, they're called A sharp, B flat, and the same key. But to look at it, the most simple way is just 12 actual keys that you can play in. All right. So, enough about that hoopla. Let's get on into the scale, the C major scale. Now, that means we're going to take our fingers. Now, our fingers, our thumb is one, two, three, four. And this pinky is five. That's our fingers. Same thing. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So you need to remember that because that's going to be very important. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to place our one thumb on C. All right. Now, the next finger, two, which is D, three, which is E, four, which is F, five, which is G. So what you want to do is this C major scale, one through five. You can also go back down. Now, what you want to do is just naturally curl your fingers, naturally curl them, and then just let them fall on the keyboard, okay? Now, what you want to do is have your wrist level with the keyboard or maybe slightly below, but never way up or never way down, okay? Keep it kind of level, all right? It should feel natural. So, what you want to do is press your thumb down. I teach my students to just to raise their fingertips first. Now, eventually, as we move along, you don't have to raise your fingers. But you feel like you're pushing off, like crawl like a spider, pushing off. So if you're beginning, just push off. And by the way, we're at middle C, okay? And usually on a 61 uh, keyboard, 61 key keyboard, it is C3. And what we mean by C3 is the third C on the keyboard from your left count. C1, C2, C3. All right. All right. So we should be right here. All right. Take that and practice that. And if you want to pause the video, go ahead and pause the video. Uh, but let's move on to the left hand. Do the same thing. But we're going to start with our fifth finger. All right, and what you want to do is just continue it. Just keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Right hand, and make it even. You don't want to be 
something like that, you want to keep it even. Keep, it's like marching. Keep it in step. Keep it in step. All right. So that's a C major scale, one through five. Now I'm going to show you the schemail an octave, okay? All right, one octave, okay? So you know, what's an octave? Let me stop there before I get too fast. All right, an octave is the next key. It's the same key, either up or down, okay? So this would be an example of an octave. Up, octave, down. So these are your octaves. The, the word octave, it comes from the, um, that first part of the, the first three letters, O-C-T, which is an oct, like an octopus has eight tentacles and an octagon has eight sides. That's the way I teach my students. So an octave is your eight note of the major scale. Six, seven, eight. They're the same note of that major scale, okay? So that's an octave. All right, so we're going to go from there to here, from that C to that C. So how do we do it? Well, we don't have eight fingers. I'm glad we don't. But what we can do is we're going to use the first three fingers, then cross behind. And I'm going to pick my finger up. You don't do it like this, but I'm going to show you what's happening. I'm taking my thumb and moving it behind the middle finger and laying it on the next note behind it. And then I free up my hand. And I play the rest of my fingers on the rest of the notes that are left. So let me show you that again. Like a ballerina twist. <laughs> All right. So first three fingers, then ballerina twist. Hold it. So let's do that. One, two, and cross. Try to keep it even. Now let's go backwards with it. All right. So you can try that. Let's do left hand. So when we start with our pinky, we have to use all five fingers and then cross. Cross over with the middle. Open back up and finish out with your three fingers, that, the two fingers that are left. Let me show you again. We go backwards, it's just like a reflection of the right hand. All right, let's do that again. Okay, go up. Back down. All right, and you can even try it with both hands at the same time. Okay, so that is your C major scale, one through five, and uh, one through eight are the octave, okay? So uh, that's the end of this tutorial, okay? I want you to get a lot of practice with this scale because the major scale is going to be very vital and very important to your plan in the future, okay? So remember, do not forget to like and subscribe, okay, to J Sims J Music. And if you hadn't hit that notification bell, go ahead and hit it so you can make sure you keep up with the material that I send out, okay? And if you want any tutorials, any extra tutorials, please just submit it in the comment box and I will answer and get it, get it to you as soon as possible, okay? I hope you enjoyed this video and see you on the next one.